Hey, in today's SinFig tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a pair of walking stick figure legs just like these. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we have our blank canvas here. And we want to start by creating a single leg. And I'm going to do that by starting with the beeline tool and creating an upper thigh. Just drag a line out there and make sure we have the correct options set. I do not want a beeline region for my thigh. Um, all of the rest of this is fine. Okay, click the transform tool to set it. Create a second beeline for the calf. Set it and I'm going to go ahead and put a shoe on my character's foot also. For this one I am going to use a beeline region. loop beeline okay now I'm just gonna mold the shoe real quickly here and now I'm going to encapsulate all my objects here's the shoe here's the calf area of the leg here's the thigh let me go ahead and name these we want to put the calf encapsulation inside the thigh encapsulation now and the shoe encapsulation inside the calf encapsulation. This will make every motion on the higher level have an effect on the lower level encapsulation. Now you can see that everything is encapsulated within the thigh encapsulation and the shoe is within the calf encapsulation. We also need to add some rotation layers that we're going to use later. So let's go ahead and put those in now. Right click, new layer, transform, rotate. Now you should have something very similar to this here. We need to line up the encapsulation so it looks like a real leg. Let's start with the thigh and we'll move it up and go to the calf and connect it to the knee we can turn off these now so they don't get in our way we're not going to need them anymore connect the knee up with the end of the thigh and connect up the shoe with the bottom of the leg we need to position our rotation points throughout the leg Okay, twist these around some to make sure you get the position correct. That looks pretty good for the knee. Okay, now we're going to set our starting position for the leg. We'll set it just as a leg would be picking up from the ground on the finish of a step. Now we're ready to start animating. Turn on animate mode and we want to lock in this as our first keyframe at second zero, frame zero. Let's go to frame six. As the leg finishes out it's going to be bending the knee inward so let's bend that. We'll add the rotation of the shoe here a little bit too. Go ahead to frame 12. And bring the leg forward out more. Here we want to plant the heel on the ground. Go ahead six more frames to 18. Bring the leg down. We can flatten the shoe out now. Go to one second in. Continue rotating the thigh. We're going to rotate the shoe up some. And go up six more frames. 
to the one second six frame mark and let's duplicate our keyframe here press duplicate keyframe at this point here we should have one leg going through a full walk cycle go back to frame zero so we can double check it okay and to get two legs walking what we want to do is go out of animate mode and we're just going to duplicate this l first leg that we've already made so fold up the encapsulation select it right click go to duplicate layer and we'll rename this to thigh number two now if I take this second thigh and move it over you'll see that they're both walking now this can be a beneficial technique if you want an army of characters marching in step. But to finish our animation we gotta get these two legs out of sync so that they're walking together. And underneath the time track tab you can see the animation points of the leg from our encapsulation. I almost forgot I want to undo having moved that leg so that they're both lined up at the hips. Now I'm gonna move some of these animation points around until the two legs start to resemble walking positions. Okay, I just finished moving all the points forward two spaces. Each of them has six frames in between them still. From zero seconds, frame 12, to one second, frame six, it should appear to be a walking motion with both legs. Okay, that looked pretty good. Now that I have that working, I need to fill in this space here where animation points at zero frames and six frames are missing for thigh number two. Set it to frame zero and frame zero can be duplicated from this point and set it to frame six and it can be duplicated from this point. Now I should have a proper walk sequence from second zero frame zero to second one frame six. Now that that's working, I'm going to add a time loop above both my layers. Go to the parameters tab and set the duration of the time loop. Change it from one second to one second and six frames. That's where our walking animation ends. It links at frame zero and local time zero. And that should pretty much be it. Click on your menu arrow here. Go to file preview hit preview okay and hit play and then we have our animated walking stick legs thanks for watching penguin tutorials com